Look, I know that you're scared about this, but we can get through it together. And it's easier than you think. What is up people, Dunna here, and today we're talking about something that scares a lot of people when it comes to their videos, and it's really stopping them from taking it to the next level. And that is how to sync video and audio in Premiere Pro and why you should be doing it. I recently made a video that was three and a half different audio setups that you could be using for your videos. I explained some of the pros and cons of each and where you might wanna use them. Now, two of the ways that I explained meant that you had to sync the audio with your video in post-production. And I get it, you don't wanna to go to the trouble of having to sync in post and figure out different files and where they're coming from and where they're going to. But if you're gonna take all that time to make sure that your video's looking crispy, why are you slacking on the audio? I promise you can make your audio sound 10 times better by taking two extra minutes to record externally, either on an external recorder or even on your phone. So here's an example of what it sounds like if you're listening to the microphone that's on top of my camera. It doesn't sound super good because the microphone's so far away. And this is what it sounds like if I take an extra couple of minutes to make sure that my audio is banging. And by that, I mean there's a boom mic just out of the shot and it's a lot closer to my face so we're getting better audio. You tell me which one you like better. Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure I've convinced you at this point. Let me tell you what you're gonna need and how we're gonna do it. Okay, first of all, what you're gonna need. You'll need either an external recorder or you can use your phone. Next, you're going to need some kind of microphone, whether that be a boom mic, a lav mic, the mic built into the external recorder, or the mic built right into your phone. The goal is to get the microphone as close to the sound source as possible, so in this case, it would be my mouth. If you don't mind having the microphone in your frame, then great, just try and get it as close to your mouth as possible without ruining the shot, obviously. If you don't want to see the microphone in the frame, there are a couple of little things that you can do. If you're using a boom mic like me, you can get it just out of the frame, like it's not even an inch out of the frame right now. Or if you have a lav mic, which I use sometimes, you can hide it just inside the person's shirt. If you wanna record with the microphone on your phone, you can actually hide it in your front pocket if you're wearing a shirt that has one. Like I said, whatever your specific case is, whether you're okay with having it in the shot or not, just make sure you get your microphone as close to the sound source as possible. Okay, so now we've figured out how we're going to record. We've chosen one of the methods that I've said and we're ready to roll. Here are a couple of tricks to make your life way easier when it comes to syncing this up later. You know that fun, clacky, smacky thing that you see on Hollywood sets and in behind the scenes? That's called a slate. And one of the functions of a slate is to be able to sync audio and video in post. Now, I don't have anything quite that fancy, but what I can use are these guys right here. So what you wanna do is you want to make sure that you're rolling on your audio and your video, and you want to clap once in frame. Now, when you get this into post-production, what you can do is you can line up the timing of when your hands hit together and the spike in the audio. And now you're just like a Hollywood director, kinda. Now remember, every time that you start and stop your audio and your camera, you're gonna wanna make one of these slates. It's gonna make your life way easier in the end. Just turn them both on, give a quick clap on camera, and you're good to go. Another tip is to make sure that you're rolling sound on your camera too. This is another thing that in post-production will make it nice and easy because you'll be able to look at the waveforms of the audio from the camera microphone and from your external microphone. And then you can just line them up based on how they look. And the third tip is to make sure that your levels look good. Remember again from my previous video that the rule of thumb is to make sure that your audio levels are about three quarters of the way up the meter. So on both your camera and your external recorder, make sure that if you have the ability to set levels, you set it to about 75% of the way up the meter. Okay, so we've got our slate clap done, we've recorded our audio separately, and we've recorded our video on our video camera, obviously. So let's head over to Premiere Pro and sync these suckers up. Okay, so once you've created a new project in Premiere Pro, you're gonna want to first and foremost create a new sequence. Once you have a new sequence at the settings that you want, you're going to drag in your video clip. Next, we're gonna drag in the matching audio file. And bonus points if you've gone in and named them so that they match. Sometimes I do, sometimes I'm a little lazy. 
Now, there are a couple of ways that we can sync them up at this point. The first one is automatically. What you can do is you can highlight both the audio and the video, right click, hit synchronize, choose the option to synchronize with audio, and hit OK. I would say this works about 85% of the time. And what you want to do afterwards is just make sure that it worked well. So we're going to hit this little button right here. In the drop down menu, choose show audio time units. What this is going to do is allow us to move with a much more fine movement instead of being constricted to the frames of the video. So we can move our audio around by a more minuscule amount and make sure that we're getting it right on. And now we're gonna go in, find our slate, and we're gonna line up the spikes between the audio track and the audio that was recorded along with the video. Now let's say for some reason the automatic version is just not working, it can't seem to figure it out. Here's the way that you can do it a little bit more manually. After you've imported both your video and your audio, you're going to choose show audio time units again, and you're going to go to your video track and find your slate. Once you've found your slate, drop your cursor, click the video track to highlight it, and hit M. This is going to drop a marker. Then we're gonna to go to our separate audio, and we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna drop a marker right where the slate happens. Now we're going to, again, highlight the video and the audio at the same time, right click, hit synchronize, and we're gonna to choose to synchronize by marker. Now you hit OK. It's gonna line up those two markers and you're good to go. If by some weird chance, this second way is not working for you, the third way to do it is total manual mode. All you're gonna do is get your video in the timeline, get your audio in the timeline, find the clap point in both tracks and just line them up manually. Again, if you use show audio time units, you'll be able to make more fine adjustments. One thing that you can do after you're done is you can unlink the original audio by right-clicking on the video and clicking unlink. Then if you click the video and our external audio by holding shift, right-click and hit link, now those two are linked together and you'll be able to edit them however you want. Now that may have seemed like a bit of a process during this video, but that's just because I was explaining all of the different ways you can do it. Really, this takes me like 20 seconds per clip. It's not a huge deal. Once you get it in there, you'll be thankful you did. Now I wanna turn this over to you guys. Are you using external audio or are you recording straight into the camera? Drop a comment below, let me know how you're doing your audio. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I try to answer every single one if I can. If you wanna be friends, click the little circle and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Here's another video, I think you'll really like it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.